Would you mind if I take a little nap? What now? Whose soul will you touch? Is there something wrong, Quistus? Oh, I just wish I was less busy. I hardly have any time to keep exploring the garden. Well, there's not much you can do. Still, remember when we moved seed here? Feels like ages ago. Yeah. We were conducting an airship test flight in the area when boom, there the garden was. It was crawling with mirages, but it was worth it for the technology and magic alone. The stuff here is way beyond what we had at the time. A brand new airship engine, this gun blade, the draw tech. Yeah, but we should have been more careful. The machines went berserk after we gave them to Shinra. In retrospect, isn't it possible they were connected to the Cogna? We should have done our homework better before handing over our findings. Hmm? So you're saying that the garden is tied to the Cogna somehow? Isn't that kind of a stretch? I see. You never did give Rain and Lon full access here. Now I know why. Just so you know, they still think it's because you don't trust them. What do you want me to do? If the garden really is some kind of Cogna Haven... Oh, don't worry. Our friend here isn't like that. Eiko? Hm? Wait, what do you mean, our friend? Do you know something about the garden? Well, it's really more of a feeling. You know Big Bridge? I think the garden here is very much like him. Huh? So... Right. Maybe Balam Garden is just one big mirage. Although, when I reach out to touch its mind, it doesn't respond to me in the slightest. It must be sleeping way, way more soundly than I have ever seen with Big Bridge. Shall I try waking it up? Uh, is that a good idea? I don't think that it means us any harm. But if things do get out of hand... Got it. We'll deal with whatever comes up. <sighs> I guess so. Why, thank you. Hey. Think you could wake up so we can talk? Can I ask what your name is? Eden. Eden of Balam. Eden. <gasps> oh, oh no! So it is connected to the Cogna? No! Eden's saying that waking it up opens some kind of pathway to... Enough... Usually, it chooses to stay in a deep sleep in order to keep the path closed. That's the only way this world will stay safe. Either way, we need to send him back. So, there are places like this where the Cogna can just break through? I'm not this sure myself, but if the Cogna have already taken over a world that's in constant contact with Grimoire, I, I'd rather not to think about it.
Looks like Eden went back to sleep. I think we're okay. The garden should be safe from danger, as long as our friend doesn't wake up. Got it. We'll take care not to disturb it. <laughs> Cloud, you back here again? Yeah. With all of these records here, there may be something on the guy I'm after. What guy? Ah, impeccable timing, Cloud. This book has given me a wonderful idea, but I'll need your help. What? An opera? Not interested. No way! Now, now, not so fast. Celeste, what did you say to me the other day? Because I can recall you lamenting how gloomy the town has been since that whole vampire ordeal. I might have said something like that, but how does an opera figure in? With their little hearts broken like that, they may never enjoy a book again. Sid, it's not that tragic. Hmm? It's not? Take two. With their little hearts broken like that, they'll never find the courage to fend off all the cogna. Oh, well, I suppose you're right about that. Do you see? This opera is perfect for unslumping the town spirits. You don't expect us to. Yes. It features a mysterious hero and a beautiful heroine. Who could be better for the roles? Back in my younger years, I used to be head over heads for this libretto. I'm not some opera floozy. I refuse to embarrass myself on stage. Sorry, but you can count me out too. Oh, don't say that. In fact, you can't say that because you're already on the flyers. So as the saying goes, break a leg. I ought to break your leg for doing that. 
Okay, get rehearsing! What? Uh, hold it! So, he knows I'm not doing this. Is that her? I think Celeste is serious. Is she gonna do it? Oh, my hero. Hmm? What do you want? A mirage? <clears throat> What's going on? Cloud! This freak fell out of nowhere. Watch it. Ta-da! It's so quiet in here, I could hear an octopus drop. You can hardly blame me for wanting to take over the place and save it for my retirement. I just flopped in to see who was making all the noise. Nobody arpeggios in my new contagio. Unless she happens to be a deliciously pretty lady. <laughs> who sent you? Was it the Federation? <laughs> nope, never heard of him. I'm here to domesticate, not federate. And any bozo that gets in my way is gonna get mangled. Oh, but the young lady can stay and be my honey pie. This library is a sacred place. No one gave you permission to disturb it. Well, if you like your sacred library that much, I'd better do you a favor and hide it from anyone unsavory, huh? Here's a bright idea. Maybe I'll just squirt some ink all over these books. <laughs> Keep your tentacles off these books. I need them too. If you won't back off, then I know what's for dinner. I'm up for a little fancy cuisine myself. Not you again. Who, me? Oh, I'm just an innocent passerby. <laughs> really? Oh, uh, got it. Well, in that case... No one just passes through here, dummy! Huh? Oh, uh, let's do this! tried to warn me that the real estate market was going to crash. <sighs> Seems all the books are still intact. Thanks a lot, Cloud. I had my own reasons to help. Oh, and Celeste? Is that the libretto? Hmm? Oh! It's covered in that freak's ink! I guess that means the opera's canceled then. No, wait a sec! Maybe the duet at the end is still okay! Oh, well, it's not like we can put on half an opera. Let's just shelve this idea. I'm sure we can find another way to cheer up the townspeople, right? Oh, well, I suppose. What a shame, too. You got a nice voice. Anyway, I'm gonna keep hunting through some more of these... <laughs> what do you know? So I wasn't the star of either performance, but that's all right. Would you 
mind if I take a little nap? What now? Whose soul will you touch? Golems without purpose must be destroyed. What do you mean some of the black mages have stopped moving? How could that happen? I thought you were all training together the whole night. A mirage? Came to the training grounds threatening to destroy us all? Does that mean it's time? Hey, remember that conversation we had? About what we're doing in this world? What our purpose is? Our memories only go so far back, you know? To the moment our paths crossed with Rain and Lon. I think maybe the reason we came to this world was so they could find us. And once our job is done, it could be our lives are supposed to end. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. However we started out, that's not who we are now. Together, we'll drive that creature away. Golems without purpose must be destroyed. <sighs> Tell me, are you the Mirage hunting my friends? What do you want? Just leave us alone. Tools do not have a choice. Tools that are no longer useful must be destroyed. So much for trying to talk this one out. Come on! We fight! These golems need to be taught a lesson. Vivi's not a tool. He's a person. Yeah, and more than that, he's our friend. Golem said that we were just tools to be disposed of. But that's not true. We chose to fight, and we managed to beat him. We are nobody's tools. Am I not right? Edgar said something to me once, and now it makes sense to me. Don't you see? We don't need a purpose to live. Life is the purpose. <laughs> You've come a long way, Vivi. Right. Come on. Let's go. We all have a job to do. It's up to you and me to keep Figaro's people safe. I know exactly what to live for now. Another day. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> 
Welcome to the rift between dreams and time. What now? Whose soul will you touch? That's Alexander's voice. What could be wrong? Tell me, when and where were you born? Oh, so then you are from the same place as me. Whoa, wait, I know you. Come to think of it, even back then you used to tower over everyone else. You don't remember? You came and challenged me so you could be next in line for the throne. But of course, my mother's chains didn't stop me from winning. I toppled you even though you were hundreds of times bigger. What a state we left that part of the palace in. They were cleaning that mess up for quite a while. <laughs> well, don't sound so surprised. You know, this world you're in is a part of me. Oh, now I see. The summoner who brought you here so long ago was similar to Lon and Rain, someone who had inherited some of my power. The bloodline of Grimoire's first summoner has been so busy. Those Farnas. There are so many like you in this world now. There's Eden of Balaam. Then there's the Loot of Ragnarok. The Midgardian Ormer. There's you, of course. And who else? Hmm? What do I want with you? Actually, I'm not here to see you. I'm here for the one hiding in you. You there! Show yourself! Distressing. I see you're making yourselves at home over there. Oh well. Champions will show up there in due time. Just like they have here in Grimoire. Lon! Rain! Whoa, 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 what the? Okay, it's all yours now. Wait, all of what is? Uh, and a crow? But how can... When did you... What, what is that thing? I guess it must be the most powerful Cogna in Grimoire right now. You don't even know? This world looks to the two of you as its saviors now. Go make us proud. But what are we doing? Dude, we totally did not come prepared for this. Uh, and a crow? Don't just leave us here! Tell us what is going on!
This'll do.
do. No trouble at all. What was that about? I was wondering about all the ruckus. What are you up to now, Aiko? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not like it's our fault. We didn't cause any ruckus. Well, someone must have woken Alexander up, because I could hear him making all kinds of noise and... Huh? He's telling me to thank you. Some pest was bothering him. He said he was in pain until you showed up, or... something like that. Hmm, I don't know what that's about, but I guess I'd better thank you, too. Rescuing Alexander like that was very brave. the bridge again? Welcome to the rift between dreams and time. What now? Whose soul will you touch? What now? See you soon? 